the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And sorrowful spirits, mindful of the immense sacrifice you made for our salvation, as we begin to meditate on the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary, we ask you to grant us the grace to enter deeply into the mystery of your passion, death, and resurrection. We pray for all those who are suffering in the world today, especially those who are experiencing the pain of loss, betrayal, and abandonment. May they find comfort in the knowledge that you are with them in their trials and that their suffering has redemptive value. As we reflect on the sorrowful mysteries, may we be filled with a deep sense of gratitude for the love that you have shown us and a renewed commitment to follow you more closely. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. April 7, St. John the Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. The Holy Rosary. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Sorrowful Mystery The Agony in the Garden Heavenly Father, as we begin to meditate on the sorrowful mystery of the agony in the garden, we ask for your guidance and strength to face the challenges and trials of our lives. Just as Jesus struggled in prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, we also face moments of fear and doubt. Help us to trust in your will and to find peace in your loving presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Heavenly Father, we offer this decade to you as we contemplate the agony of your Son in the Garden of Gethsemane. We offer your sufferings, our fears, and our doubts, just as Jesus did in his moment of greatest trial. We offer you our gratitude for the gift of holy priests and bishops, and we pray that they may be strengthened and guided by your Holy Spirit in their ministry. We offer you the intentions of all those who are suffering, that they may find solace in the knowledge that Jesus has walked the path of suffering before them. We offer you the intentions of all those who have died, that they may be welcomed into your loving embrace and eternal peace. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Almighty God, as we meditate on the sorrowful mystery of the scourging at the pillar, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness for our sins. Just as Jesus suffered through the brutal scourging, we too bear the wounds of our transgressions. Help us to find healing and renewal in your grace and to turn away from sin and towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Heavenly Father, we offer this decade to you as we contemplate the scourging of your Son at the pillar. We offer you our weaknesses, our sins, and our failings, just as Jesus accepted the punishment for our sins. We offer you the intentions of the Pope, bishops, and priests, that they may be strengthened in their mission to call sinners to repentance and conversion. We offer you the intentions of all those who are suffering from physical or emotional pain, that they may be comforted by the knowledge that Jesus has borne their pain. We offer you the intentions of all those who have died, that they may be cleansed of their sins and be welcomed into your eternal kingdom. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Eternal God, as we meditate on the sorrowful mystery of the crowning with thorns, we ask for your protection and strength in the face of persecution and mockery. Just as Jesus was crowned with thorns and mocked as a king, we too may face ridicule and rejection for our faith. Help us to remain steadfast in our belief and to find hope in the promise of your eternal kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Loving God, we offer this decade to you as we contemplate the crowning of your Son with thorns. We offer you our fears and doubts about our faith, just as Jesus was mocked for claiming to be a king. We offer you the intentions of the Pope, bishops, and priests, that they may be protected from harm and continue to bear witness to the truth of the gospel. We offer you the intentions of all those who are persecuted for their faith, that they may find strength and courage in the knowledge that Jesus has overcome the world. We offer you the intentions of all those who have died, that they may be crowned with glory in your heavenly kingdom. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. O Lord our God and Father, as we meditate on the sorrowful mystery of the carrying of the cross, we ask for your assistance and support in carrying the burdens of our lives. Just as Jesus carried the weight of the cross, we too bear the burdens of our daily struggles. Help us to find strength and perseverance in your grace and to trust in your loving guidance through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Good and gracious God, we offer this decade to you as we contemplate the carrying of your son's cross. We offer you our struggles and burdens just as Jesus bore the weight of the cross for us. We offer you our prayers for holy priests and bishops that they may be sustained in their ministry and be a source of strength to those who are struggling. We pray that they may be holy and dedicated shepherds who lead your people to holiness. We offer you the intentions of all those who are suffering from physical or emotional pain that they may find comfort in the knowledge that Jesus has borne their pain. We offer you the intentions of all those who have died that they may be united with you in your heavenly kingdom. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. God of mercy, as we meditate on the sorrowful mystery of the crucifixion, we stand in awe and reverence of your infinite love and sacrifice. Just as Jesus died on the cross for our sins, we too are called to lay down our lives for others. Help us to live out your commandment of love and to offer ourselves in service to our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Eternal God, we offer you this decade for holy priests and bishops, that they may be conformed to the image of your Son and be effective instruments of your grace and mercy. We ask that you bless them with humility, compassion, and wisdom as they serve your people. We offer you the intentions of all those who are dying, that they may be comforted by the knowledge that Jesus has conquered death and opened the way to eternal life. We offer you the intentions of all those who have died, that they may be purified of their sins and welcomed into the joy of your presence. May our prayers and offerings be pleasing to you, O God, as we meditate on the sufferings of your Son and unite ourselves to his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile. Show us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Lord Jesus Christ, as we conclude our meditation on the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary, we thank you for the gift of your passion, death, and resurrection. We ask you to strengthen us in our faith, hope, and love, so that we may follow you more closely and serve you more generously. We pray for all those who are suffering in the world today, especially those who are carrying heavy crosses and enduring great trials. May they be comforted by the knowledge that you have shared in their suffering and that you are with them always. As we go forth from this prayerful time, may we be inspired to live our lives in a way that reflects your love and mercy. May we be agents of healing and reconciliation in the world, working to build up your kingdom of justice and peace. We ask this in your holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tire of David, pray for us. Tire of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comfort of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen Assumed Into Heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant and beseech you, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be delivered from present sorrow to delight in joy eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Joseph Prayer O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain from me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel Prayer. Saint Michael the Archangel, 
defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Memorari Prayer Remember a most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins. My mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Litany of Humility O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, O Jesus that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised, and I go unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we reflect upon the most important event in all of human history, the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is a somber occasion, yet also a powerful reminder of the depth of God's love for us. As we delve into the seven last words of Jesus Christ, let us imagine ourselves standing at the foot of the cross, witnessing this pivotal moment in time. Let us feel the weight of our sins and the incredible sacrifice that Jesus made for us. With each of Jesus' last words, let us take a moment to reflect on the meaning behind them and how they continue to inspire us and guide us on our own faith journey. Let us remember that through the darkness of this moment, a great light shone forth, and that light continues to shine in our lives today. May we be strengthened and encouraged by these last words of Jesus, and may they continue to inspire us to live lives of faith, hope, and love. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. These words of Jesus are a powerful reminder of the extent of his love and mercy for us. Even as he was being unjustly condemned and crucified, he prayed for forgiveness for his executioners. This is an example for us to follow in our daily lives, to forgive those who wrong us, just as Jesus forgave those who crucified him. When Jesus spoke these words, he was expressing his deep compassion 
and love for those who have betrayed him, condemned him, and were now in the act of crucifying him. Even as he hung on the cross in excruciating pain, he sought forgiveness for those who were inflicting this pain upon him. Forgiveness is one of those most difficult things we can do as humans. It can be especially hard to forgive those who have hurt us and betrayed us, causing us pain and suffering. But Jesus teaches us that forgiveness is not a one-time act, but a continuous process of choosing to let go of the hurt and anger we feel towards others, and choosing to love and show compassion instead. It's important to remember that forgiveness does not mean excusing or condoning the wrongs that have been done to us. Rather, forgiveness is a choice to release the anger and resentment we feel, and to entrust the situation to God. When we forgive, we free ourselves from the burden of holding onto the pain and hurt that others have caused us, and we allow God's healing love to work in our hearts. Forgiveness is a powerful act of love and mercy, and it is one that we are called to imitate in our own lives. It is a process that takes time and effort, but with God's help, it is possible. May we follow the example of Jesus and choose to forgive those who have hurt us, so that we may experience the freedom and joy that comes with living in God's love and mercy. Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. These words of Jesus were spoken to one of the criminals who was crucified alongside him. Despite the fact that this criminal had lived a life of sin, Jesus promised him that he would be with him in paradise. This reminds us that it is never too late to turn to God and ask for forgiveness, no matter how far we may have strayed from his path. In this moment on the cross, Jesus is hanging between two criminals who were also being crucified. One of them mocks Jesus, but the other, often referred to as a good thief, recognizes that Jesus is innocent and asks him to remember him when he comes into his kingdom. Jesus responds with the words, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. This second word of Jesus on the cross shows us the incredible mercy and love that God has for us, no matter how much we may have sinned or how far we may have strayed from him. The good thief is a powerful example of this. Though he lived a life of crime and sin, he recognized his own guilt and humbly asked for forgiveness. And in that moment, Jesus granted him the ultimate gift of eternal life with him in paradise. The story of the good thief reminds us that it is never too late to turn our lives around and come back to God. No matter what we have done or how far we have strayed, God's mercy and love are always available to us. We are called to live holy lives. It means that we strive to follow God's will and when we fall short, we seek forgiveness and try again. In the case of the good thief, he didn't have the opportunity to live a long life of holiness, but his recognition of his own guilt, his humble request for forgiveness, and his acceptance of Jesus as his Savior and his final moments is a powerful reminder to all of us that it's never too late to turn to God and receive his mercy and love. May we always remember the second word of Jesus on the cross and strive to live holy lives, seeking forgiveness when we fall short and trusting in God's mercy and love to guide us on our journey. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. The third last word of Jesus is a profound moment in the crucifixion story that offers a unique opportunity to connect to our Blessed Mother as the new Eve who said yes to God, with Eve as the old woman who disobeyed God. In the Garden of Eden, Eve was tempted by the serpent to eat from the forbidden tree, even though God warned her not to. She disobeyed God's command and, as a result, sin entered the world. However, in the Gospel of John, our Blessed Mother is portrayed as the new woman who said yes to God's plan of salvation. Like Eve, our Blessed Mother was presented with a choice, but unlike Eve, she said yes to God's will. She accepted the role of being the mother of Jesus, even though it was a difficult and challenging path to follow. When Jesus spoke these words to our Blessed Mother and John from the cross, he was entrusting his mother to the care of the disciple and the disciple to the care of his mother. In doing so, Jesus was establishing a new family relationship that transcends biological ties. He was creating a new community of faith 
where believers would look out for one another and care for each other, just as our Blessed Mother and John cared for one another. Our Blessed Mother's acceptance of God's will and her willingness to care for her son, even in the darkest hour, is a powerful reminder to us of the importance of saying yes to God's plan for our lives. Just as our Blessed Mother trusted in God's love and providence, we too must trust in God's plan for our lives, even when it is difficult or challenging. May we follow Mary's example of faith and trust and say yes to God's call with open hearts and minds. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? These words of Jesus express his anguish and sense of abandonment as he hung on the cross. It is a reminder to us that even in our darkest moments, we can turn to God in prayer and find comfort and strength in his love and presence. This word has deep significance for us Catholic Christians and can be difficult to understand, especially when we feel forsaken in our lives. In this moment on the cross, Jesus is expressing his feelings of abandonment and separation from God. He is experiencing the weight of the sin of all humanity, and in that moment, he feels the weight of that separation from God. This word shows us the depth of Jesus' sacrifice and the extent of his love for us. Some may wonder if Jesus really meant what he said, or if he was simply quoting Psalm 22 verse 1, which begins with the same words. However, it is important to remember that Jesus was fully human as well as fully divine. And in that moment of the cross, he experienced the full weight of human suffering and separation from God. But it is also important to remember that Psalm 22, from which Jesus is quoting, does not end in defeat or despair, but in victory and trust in God's faithfulness. In fact, Psalm 22 verse 24 says, For he has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. This shows us that even in the midst of feeling forsaken, God is still present and listening to our cries for help. As Christians, we can take comfort in the fact that Jesus understands our feelings of abandonment and separation from God, and that he has overcome sin and death through his sacrifice on the cross. We can trust in God's faithfulness and cling to the hope of eternal life in him. I thirst. These words of Jesus express his physical suffering and remind us of the sacrifice he made for us. It also reminds us of the importance of compassion and charity to help those who are suffering and in need. On the surface, Jesus' statement, I thirst, can be seen as a simple expression of physical thirst. In the context of his crucifixion, Jesus had been deprived of food and water for a long period of time, and his body was suffering from dehydration. But there is also a deeper meaning to these words. Metaphorically, we can see Jesus' thirst as a representation of his longing for the salvation of humanity. Throughout his ministry, Jesus expressed a deep desire to save those who were lost and to bring them into a relationship with God. In his final moments on the cross, Jesus was still focused on this mission, despite his physical suffering. His words, I thirst, can be seen as a metaphor for his yearning to see his mission completed and for all people to come to know God's love and salvation. But these words also have a personal application for us as individuals. We too can experience a spiritual thirst, a longing for something more in our lives. We may try to quench this thirst with things of this world, such as material possessions, success, or relationships, but these things can never truly satisfy us. Instead, we must turn to the source of living water, Jesus Christ. In John chapter 4, verses 13 to 14, Jesus says to the woman at the well, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. When we turn to Jesus, we find the satisfaction and fulfillment that we have been seeking. Our spiritual thirst is quenched by the living water of Christ, and we are filled with His love, grace, and peace. So let us turn to Jesus and drink deeply from the well of His salvation, so that we may never thirst again. It is finished. These words of Jesus signify the completion of His mission on earth to redeem humanity through his death and resurrection.
It is a reminder to us that we too have a mission to fulfill, to follow God's will and spread his message of love and salvation to others. This word is a powerful declaration of victory and completion. But what does it mean for us today? We should remember that Jesus was not just referring to his physical suffering and death when he said it is finished. He was declaring the completion of his mission on earth to save humanity from sin and reconcile us to God. Jesus had accomplished what he had come to do and his work was now finished. For us, this word can be a reminder that we too have a mission in life, a purpose that God has given us. We are called to do the work that God has prepared for us using the gifts and talents that he has given us in trusting in his grace and guidance along the way. But sometimes we may feel overwhelmed by the enormity of our mission, or we may doubt our abilities to complete it. The words, it is finished, remind us that we do not have to do everything on our own. We can do the best that we can within our control, but ultimately it is God who brings about the completion of his plans. We can trust in his power and his goodness, knowing that he will work all things together for our good. At the same time, we should also be aware that there may be things in our lives that we need to let go of and declare as finished. We may be holding on to past hurts, regrets, or mistakes that are keeping us from moving forward in our mission. But just as Jesus declared his mission as finished, we too can declare that we are letting go of the things that are holding us back and that we are ready to move forward in faith. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. These words of Jesus express his complete trust and surrender to God, even in the face of death. It is a reminder to us that we too must entrust our lives and our souls to God's care and guidance, and trust in his plan for us, even in the midst of trials and difficulties. The seventh and final word of Jesus on the cross expressed Jesus' complete trust and surrender to God, even in the midst of the most intense physical and emotional pain. For us, this word can be a reminder of the importance of trusting in God's providence, especially when we are going through difficult times. We may feel overwhelmed by pain, suffering, or uncertainty, and we may struggle to understand why God is allowing these things to happen. But like Jesus, we can entrust ourselves to God, knowing that He is always with us and that He is working all things together for our good. In times of suffering, we may also feel the need to take matters into our own hands, to try to control the situation or find a way out. But the words, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit, remind us that our ultimate trust should be in God, who is our loving Father and who knows what is best for us. These words also show us the depth of Jesus' love for us. He was willing to endure the cross and all its pain, to surrender his very life into the hands of his Father in order to save us from sin and death. He did this out of love for us so that we might have eternal life and know the fullness of God's love. The words, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit are a powerful expression of trust, surrender, and love. They remind us of the importance of trusting in God's providence, especially in times of suffering and of the depth of Jesus' love for us. May we too learn to entrust ourselves to God, knowing that He is always with us and that He loves us with an everlasting love. May these seven last words of Jesus inspire us to deepen our faith and our commitment to following in His footsteps as we strive to live lives of love, mercy, and compassion and to bring God's light and hope to a world in need. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.